bring you updates on this story as they become available. Now, Storm Tracker 9 weather with Chief Meteorologist Justin Stapleton. Well, I started to see the clouds rolling back in as a big change in the weather forecast. No more 90s on the board, and in fact, we'll slowly start to move those back into the 70s for highs uh, in some spots, especially inland here as we head into your weekend forecast. First, though, let's head outside to Coos Bay. The McCullough Bridge looking good, mostly sunny skies. 66 degrees, a very, very nice afternoon across the south coast. Humidity about 88% in the north-northwest winds around 10 miles an hour. But looky what we got as we head on up towards Newport. Hey, there's some fog. About one mile of visibility, a little bit of mist and drizzle there as well as you get up towards the Science Center. 61 degrees, humidity almost at 100%, so as you might expect, that is going to keep things fairly overcast. And we'll likely see some of these clouds start to head on inland as we go overnight tonight and tomorrow. So, folks. Getting ready for the uh, Beavs game tomorrow. Also, we'll be looking at uh, potential for a few light sprinkles trying to roll their way through. Now, the air is still very dry. Even though we have more humidity in the air today, close to the surface here, it's got a lot of dry air it's got to overcome. And so all of this that you're seeing on the radar sweep where you say, well, the shower is probably going to kind of wetten things up. No, most of that won't hit the ground just yet. But if we continue to kind of prime the pump, so to speak, and put more moisture into the air, we will get some of those showers to move on uh, down to the ground as we head in towards mainly your Saturday forecast. So here's how we're going to break it down. We're going to be even cooler tomorrow in many spots. There is a chance that we could get some sprinkles for both of the games, possibly uh, for the uh, duck game at 730 with the kickoff at Austin. Beavs might see some earlier as you're tailgating before the one o'clock kickoff. But the good news is it's great weather for the firefighting efforts down here Oak Ridge to the Deception Complex fires. And then we'll start to heat back up. Not done with some of the hot weather just yet, but today a much better looking high temperature map than what we had yesterday. 79 in Corvallis. How about low 80s, right about where we should be this time of year. In Eugene, 86 in Roseburg, still low 90s down in Medford. 72 in North Bend and Brookings. Nice afternoon along the south coast, as we mentioned. They're sitting in the mid-60s now. Low 80s down to Roseburg. 70 as you get out to Corval or, uh, Corvallis, that is. 70 in Sun River, 73 in Bend, and right around 60 degrees out towards Florence. Overnight tonight, we'll keep some cloud cover around. Temperatures will be in the mid 50s and then we'll slowly start to see some changes coming tomorrow. Jet stream flattening out and a bit of a trough developing. That's where it dips down and that's because this cold front's getting closer to it. You can see a lot of that moisture moving in behind there and that's what will bring us a chance for a few sprinkles tomorrow. Won't see anything major and again a lot of this that will be moving on through is basically just going to kind of thicken up as cloud cover. Might get some drizzle out along the coast and then you could get a quick passing shower as we head in towards tomorrow afternoon. But I do think we'll also get a chance to get back to partly sunny, maybe even mostly sunny for a bit. We will see a few raindrops possible out at Austin Stadium. Kickoff temperatures around 66 degrees. Tailgating should be fine throughout the rest of the day as well. So we'll go light drizzle, morning clouds, probably see some peaks of sun a little better as you get down towards the south coast, central coast, probably overcast most of the day. Mostly sunny skies after the clouds break up across the Umpqua, low 80s, another nice afternoon to start the holiday weekend. In the Cascades, we'll see partly sunny skies and cooler temperatures in the upper 50s to near 60 upper 60s and mostly sunny out in the central Oregon and here in the Willamette Valley will go morning clouds and partly cloudy skies in the upper 70s for highs tomorrow afternoon coast a little bit of drizzle on Saturday might see some early Sunday and then we're back into the morning clouds and afternoon sun low 80s for the Umpqua and then look at upper 80s and yes there's 90 degrees by next Friday the Cascades should be decent for camping this weekend but chilly overnights in the low 40s and here in the Willamette Valley will go 77 officially tomorrow and then look at that 80s back on the board and that Friday temperature Brian I'm curious I think that's going to be climbing as we get closer and closer uh, looks like things are going to start heating up again late next week it's too far away it's going to come back down here over time yeah we'll see KZI 9 News at 6 we'll be right back